everybody welcome back to my channel today i have some date night outfits for you i did this video last year and you guys really really enjoyed it so i'm back for round two and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it this first outfit is one i like to call date night or funeral you decide the top is a new one from in the style it's from the lorna lux in the style collaboration it's quite roomy so i would say if you're going to pick this up to take your normal size because i sized up assuming that it would kind of need sizing up and would be a regular fit and actually it's not so i have a lot of excess material with this top so yeah just take your regular size the jeans are from top shop they're the sydney jeans and then the boots are from asos they've got a square heel and square toe and i just absolutely love them i definitely haven't worn them enough yet this winter but i'm really excited to get wearing them once the weather gets a little bit better because right now all i want to wear is wellies quite frankly but yeah, that is the main bulk of this outfit. Or a jacket. I don't know whether to do jackets really in this video because let's face it, it's the time of the year where it's just so cold. So just wear whatever jacket you are most warm in. But a black blazer would look quite cute with this. Obviously the top is quite sheer. You could wear a body or some kind of like tight tank top underneath it, that kind of thing. But if you didn't want to do that, you could throw a blazer over the top and it does make this part of you less revealing. So I will show you that now. So this is what it looks like with the blazer on. I really love this look. I like the fact that the sleeves are quite long and with the blazer on, they come down. Sorry, my voice is going. With the blazer on, they come down past the sleeve so you kind of have a little bit of lace detail poking out of the blazer not just on the chest but on the arms as well and I think that's really really cute so yeah I love this with most of these outfits as well you can switch up the shoes I've picked like just an array of my favorite black shoes for this video so they're all pretty interchangeable especially with this outfit in particular you could wear a strappy sandal if you want I've got some uh, higher kind of like just under the knee boots which I'm going to show you in a second because they always pair so well with this blazer so I wanted to show you that and I've also got chunky flat boots as well which would also go really really well with this I have the Topshop chunky flat boots and they give you a little bit of extra height so even though you have a flat one you still have the illusion of a longer leg but yeah I'm going to show you the under the knee boots now because I think they look really really great with this outfit so this is what the longer boots look like on I haven't had a pair of boots like this in years and i am obsessed with these obviously love them because they're black croc effect and you guys will know i love a croc shoe but i just love the way these look with an all black silhouette it's just really really cool there's another outfit in this video which these also work beautifully with so i'm so excited to show you that as well but yeah this is my first day night outfit i hope you guys like it and if you're worried about the fact that there's literally zero color in this outfit um, I can let you know in advance that this is probably going to be the case for the entire video because there's a lot of neutrals going on here. This is outfit number one. So outfit number two is really simple, really cute. I love this top. I've had this for quite a while now. It's from Zara. I think it flew off the website when it was first on there. If it is still on there, I will link it. But I believe Topshop do something very, very similar to this now. So I'll link whatever I can, whatever dupes that there are. So I've tucked this top into my Topshop Sydney jeans and I just really love how it looks. It's really, really cute. So yeah, that is the main bulk of the outfit for shoes. I've gone for my ASOS pointy little heel boots these heels really aren't very high at all so i love them for any occasion really they're perfect for every day but also for going out if you just don't want to wear a super high heel it's just like looks like you've made an effort but with minimal effort and um a minimal foot pain so it's great the sleeves on the top bounce back fairly easily so i wouldn't worry about what kind of coat you're going to wear over it they tend to just kind of bounce back even after you've had a coat on, on top of them. And to be honest, any coat I think will go with this outfit. It's very, very simple. For those of you who aren't a fan of a pointed boot or would prefer a flat shoe, I have another option for you now. Yeah. For those of you who want a flat shoe option, this would be my go-to. They're very chunky, maybe not to everyone's taste, but to be honest, you could wear any shoes with this outfit that you wanted. But these would be my preferred choice in terms of a flat shoe, purely because they give me a little bit more height, but with all the comfort of a flat shoe. And they work really nicely with an all black outfit to really do the most for your silhouette. They're a favorite of mine. I know they're not to everyone's taste, but I also really like the juxtaposition between the chunky shoe. It's kind of a very tough look mixed with a very floaty, cute sleeve i really really like it not much else to say 
it's great. I'm lying, I do have something else to say regarding this outfit. If you wanted something similar, but that didn't have a sheer sleeve, this one is from Topshop, and they may have restocked this if they've got anything like this on the website, because I believe they have it in white for sure. I will link it in the info box. But yeah, you guys will have seen this one before in my top going out outfits that I did before Christmas. It's got the same puffy sleeves, just not transparent and it's got more it's like more puffy around the body so if you're going out for dinner this one might actually be a better option so outfit number three is one for those of you who love knitwear i thought amongst the tops that are very frilly and kind of very pretty i'd throw something that's nice and warm and cozy into this edit and i love this jumper from lorna's in the style range it's got these like puffy sleeves and the sleeves then go into being quite long and like quite tight and i really really like the way it looks actually i've paired it again with my topshop sydney jeans i promise i will change these jeans soon and then also my gucci dionysus bag basically a neutral color bag i think works really really nicely with this outfit and then i've also popped on my topshop strappy heels i love these so much they're literally the perfect heel and so very comfy as well. And the reason I went for the strappy heels with this one is actually because it helps to balance out the chunky knit on top. It kind of streamlines your silhouette a little bit more and pulls you in at the bottom. And I just think it balances out the whole look really, really, really well. Oh, and in terms of sizing, I got this, I believe in a 12. I just sized up so that it would be a little bit more oversized. And then for Topshop jean sizing, I do a 20 waist and then a 30 leg basically the shortest leg i can get to be honest and shoes are also true to size i just get my regular size five yeah it's really cute nice neutral outfit these styling videos are nothing if not consistent okay so outfit number three is a little bit of a different one for me but i love this skirt from in the style so so cute um so i paired it with a white shirt and then i've also paired it with this kind of like jacket blazer from pretty little thing i've had this for so long and i've been like trying to find the perfect way to wear this and actually really love it with this outfit it's kind of got that i've just stolen my boyfriend's jacket kind of vibe but it's your own and i really like that so yeah i think it works really nicely with this outfit in particular because i was struggling to find a coat to go with this so much like you know when you've just got something that's really gorgeous and it's winter and all of the coats just make it look a little bit meh and actually i think that i've just stolen someone else's jacket look works perfectly because this is the kind of outfit that you probably wouldn't take a coat out with so it kind of works in my head it just really works but this outfit would also work really really nicely in the spring and summer as well i just love it i'm going to show you it without the jacket on in a sec so this is the outfit without the jacket the shirt is from asos i believe quite old but i think it's been restocked so if it has i will link it the skirt like i said is from in the style i love it i feel like there was something like this on netta porter last summer i believe um and i really love that and i'm just really glad that in the style have done their own kind of version and then my shoes are from june i really love these i love the tan color of them and uh i wish my feet looked like they had tan on them they do i swear just so weird i don't understand <laughs> but yeah i love this outfit so much it's so cute okay guys i'm about to show you one dress two ways this is the perfect dress for if you have an occasion where you haven't been told where you're going what you're doing you don't know if it'll be fancy you don't know if it'll be cash but you want to look nice either way and appropriate for wherever you're going this is my favorite dress i wear this on an everyday basis which it wouldn't look like it right now long term viewers will have seen this before so you'll know exactly what i'm talking about but first steps the shoes change up this outfit massively as does what you wear over the top of this dress so i'm going to show you the dressy version of this and then i'm going to show you the casual version of this okay so i have my top shop strappy heels on this dress by the way is from top shop i can't remember if i said that earlier and for the very formal version of this outfit i would throw an oversized blazer over the top even if it's just over your shoulders just to cover you up a little until you get to where you need to be i just love this dress on its own so i feel like you don't want to put too much over the top of it to the point where you can't see the dress and get the full effect because it's an amazing dress so this is what that looks like 
With this, I would normally wear my hair down just because for me, this is very, very formal, especially with the slick back bun or even like just with the bun, but my like fringy bits kind of like dangling around my face and all wispy, I think would definitely soften this because this is slightly power dressing at the moment. But regardless, I think you can just make it work for you and tailor it to whatever you kind of feel most comfortable in. For me, I probably wouldn't do but I have no hair right now, so this is pretty much my only choice. But yeah, this is the very kind of like dressed up version of this outfit. So the blazer is an oversized one from Zara. It's the same one I had on earlier. And then the strappy Topshop heels. I like this outfit, but you wanted another jacket option. The leather jacket is one that I would 100% go for. It's definitely something that is well within my comfort zone. And it works really, really nicely with this dress. Because this leather jacket, this is my Bershka one. This one cuts at the perfect Point on my waist so you get the full effect of the kind of like hip and thigh skimming dress and it just works so beautifully it works really really nicely with the heels you could also pair it with these boots but I think these boots need something else which I will show you in a second just to balance them out but yeah I love this outfit so much it's so cute so I've swapped the jacket out for a jumper and the heels out for the boots and we have basically a completely different outfit I love this one so much so what i have done is i've popped a belt on underneath the jumper and just used it to tuck my jumper into what you can also do if you wanted to bring the skirt length up slightly is you can also roll over your dress as well and it just means the thigh split is ever so slightly higher and it kind of drapes differently around the hips as well and then we have the boots on underneath and i love these boots with this side split. I just think it works so, so beautifully. So we've taken something that was originally very, very dressy and made it a little bit more casual, but definitely I think this is actually a little bit more sexy. I like the boots with the thigh split. I think it looks really, really cute. It's one of my favorite looks. You will have seen this before because this isn't the first time I've worn this outfit, but I love it so much. Out of everything in this entire video, I think this is the one that you are most likely to see me in. I love it. There's a reason this has been in my wardrobe for years. I love wearing this with trainers on my feet as well. You could also wear the black chunky boots if you prefer a chunky boot. But yeah, a black slip dress should always just be a staple in your wardrobe. It will get you through so many different date occasions. I cannot recommend it enough. So this next outfit is simple, but so comfy. And I just really, really love it. It's very casual, but dressed up at the same time. So I've started off with my Topshop light blue wash mum jeans. I love these so much. And these are a little bit smarter for me in terms of a jean because they don't have rips in them and a lot of my jeans do have rips in them. So this feels a little bit more dressed up already, but I paired it with my Topshop strappy shoes and then a leather jacket and a plain black tee. This is from In The Style, but it has like shoulder pads in it. So it gives you a really nice silhouette, like really kind of like makes your waist look smaller and your hips look smaller. But like basically when you add a shoulder pad, it makes everything kind of here look a little bit more in proportion which i love because actually in terms of my body that is like my largest part and i'm not very in proportion so it really balances out which i love and it always just makes me feel so so great so yeah i've thrown the leather jacket over the top just for an, a warmth option basically this outfit is great on its own without a jacket but given the time of year i thought i'd give you something just anything to throw on. Yeah, and then I've just paired it with a black bag. Any black bag for this I think works perfectly. Match it to the hardware of your leather jacket if you're wearing a leather jacket. I just really like when all the hardware matches and especially because this is all silver. It just feels very, very cash whilst still being dressy and feeling a little bit smarter. I do genuinely think when you wear a pair of like light wash blue jeans, you could wear the craziest heels with them and it would still look casual. So yeah, if you're looking for a way to wear heels but not look too crazy dressed up this is definitely it and for those of you who are interested in the top this is what it looks like i really love it i really really love it just balances everything out so nicely and i really love the black it comes in white as well but i definitely prefer the black and i've just done the old twist and tuck with the top into my jeans so twist tuck boom I bet you were all wondering where the Zara bodies and leather joggers are at. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. It's here. Yeah, this is actually like an outfit that I have worn 
on a lot of date nights because I just live in my Zara body and Zara leather joggers and they actually dress up really really well so I've just paired them with my Topshop strappy heels this is a must like to be honest this whole video isn't just date night outfits it's like night out outfits birthdays with your friends outfits that kind of vibe to be honest um, I've worn this outfit to countless people's birthdays this is my social function of any kind outfit it's the living embodiment of the Grinch when he's like right that's it I'm not going that is that is what this outfit is because most of the time I shit you not I get to the point of going out and I just hate clothes and I just want to be in my trackies and my sweats and I don't want to go out and I don't want to see anyone and I realize I just hate everyone in my life and then I realize I don't and that I actually just don't want to go out at that given point and I'd rather be in comfy clothes and this is the closest that you're going to get to comfy clothes whilst looking like you actually made an effort so yeah that is what this outfit is it's that that's it i'm not going but i am going outfit i don't know what that says about the fact that i wear this for like every date night with ryan <laughs> Glaze over that. um but yeah this is one of my all-time favourite outfits. It's my Zara body, my Zara leather joggers, my Topshop strappy heels, and then an in-the-style trench. I love the neutral tone of this. I don't really ever do it up, to be honest, unless I'm wearing, like, white trainers, and it's a very, very, very cash outfit. Because otherwise I just think it looks a little bit too grown up for me at this stage in my life. But I love it, nonetheless. So yeah, that is my final outfit can get away with not giving you my actual like OG date night outfit in this video um, it's probably my favorite one as well if I'm honest I feel like I've said that about three or four but this is actually it I would love to know if you rewear any of these if you do please tag me in them on Instagram or Twitter or wherever I don't know just send me a DM I love seeing it when you guys recreate outfits so do let me know if you decide to recreate any of these. Oh also in terms of the Zara bodies I always get asked if I wear a bra with them. I do not. I even just attempted to wear a bra like a strapless bra with this and I just hated it. I just really hated it and to be honest I'm blessed with the fact that I don't have to wear a bra if I don't want to so I'm not going to. But yeah you could get away with a strapless one it just tends to like poke out there and a little bit like underneath your arm you can kind of see because these dip quite low which is annoying but it's also what makes them so flattering on your body is that cut so yeah i just thought i'd address that because i always get asked in the comments so just getting ahead of you guys that is going to be it for my date night outfit video i'm off now to go get my hair done <sighs> it's very yellow underneath the slick back bun it's seen better days so i'm going to have a toner hope you're all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon goodbye